gold in the air in promise in the strings I see love in our hearts the futures in our dreams it's a tunnel kind of vision like alcohol's involved in our street good morning I feel like it's been a minute since we vlogged hello Pearl. good morning welcome back to our YouTube channel it is like 8 in the morning right now and we're going on a five mile run and our babysitter just got here for the girls so we need to get going because it is already so hot today. I was laying in bed and the sun coming through was like burning my skin so it's going to be a fun one. We were supposed to go at 7am but last night we got in so late that we were like we need that extra hour of sleep. My half marathon is in exactly a week which makes me so nervous. I think I'll be like finishing the half marathon in like 30 minutes next week so. Holy cow, that's a crazy thought. Right now, if I'm honest, it is your last run before the half. So, let's get it. Okay, we're gonna set the vlog camera down and just vlog on our iPhones. Um, wish us luck right now because it is bloody hot. <laughs> Goodbye. Dang, she motivates me. She's such a beast. Just keeps going. What a week till the half. We're like three and something. Guys, this is Ken after our long runs. Just vibing in the grass. Holy nuggets, just finished and that was hard. My hardest mile was 1.5 to 2.5. That was so slow, but glad we did it. How fast did we do it and how much it was our pace? Five miles at a 10 minute even pace. Ooh, that's what I wanted to do. 10 minute even. What was our last mile? That one felt fast. Can you see it on there? Oh yeah, it was fast. Oh wow. All right, when nine, first mile was 9.30, 10.14, 10.24, 10.29, 9.30. 30, and that hill was so big. Yeah. I'm shocked. Anyways, we are going to say hi to the babies. I need to feed Bells real quick, and then we're gonna go to Jico, sauna, cold plunge, and get Brooklyn's smoothie. I am so excited. That sounds so good right now. We're alive, if you were wondering. You dead, babe. You look like you didn't even run. That's my life. Jack, this is an easy run for you. That was tough. No, that was easy for you. Well, that yeah. was hard. If Jack hadn't been right there with me the whole time. You're so mentally strong. I don't know what you're talking about because I feel like I, this was what I was getting at. I was like, Jack, turn up right now on the last mile. Like, he was like, okay, at, he was like scrambling. Three, she's like, give me some Noah Khan or Dermot Kennedy. And I was like, sick, she's vibing. And then we get to mile four and she's like, give me something pump up. <laughs> give and me then Lil he, Nas. <laughs> and I was bossing him around and then I was like, Lil Nas. He's like, okay. It got me through the last mile. I wish I could show you guys the hill that we climbed up the last mile. It was gnarly. Jico actually had an event going on, so we couldn't cold plunge in sauna, but we're going back in like 30 minutes, so we're just running some random errands and chugging some water. This thing is the best, by the way. If you don't already have it, I'll link it below. I'm punching. <laughs> I can't even walk up these stairs right now. My legs.
15 minutes in. Feels like 29. Good job. Sweaty, sweaty, sweaty. My tears are going down my face because they're sweat. <laughs> Jack's first taste test. Wow, that's really good. You got a lot of chlorophyll in that drink. <laughs> can't even taste it though. It tastes like the orange cream stuff you make at home. Really? Yeah, it's so good. We just sauna and cold plunge are feeling freaking good. We gotta go pick up the jet skis now for Lake Powell and then we will go get the girls. This is so good. I already had one this morning, but like, there was extra, so she gave me another one, and I'm so excited to drink it. That's epic. It's here all of July, so if you live in Utah, go to Jico and get it. The goods are secured. I got them. We're all ready to go. I just fell asleep in the car while Jack was getting the jet skis on and loaded up. I miss my babies, and I'm hungry, and I hit a wall, and I'm very, very tired, so. I either need a nap or an energy drink. Energy. I feel like I need a nap. Under where Tom is. Where is T? Oh! Ah! Well, I just woke up. I went to go put Tommy down for a nap because she needed one so bad. And I just rested my eyes for like 30 minutes. But, um, Jack ordered food. We got, we got smash a burger. Smash burger. I don't think I've ever had smash burger. That's so my go to in high school. We're eating some smash burger and we didn't want to go to the grocery store or like cook just because our house is very clean right now and we don't want to get groceries because we're going to be gone for like seven, six days. So, anyways, we're going to eat some food and then I'm going to go start packing and then I have to finish making cookies and just kind of like random odd jobs, right? Yeah, get the truck ready. Yeah, I need to get some energy back because I was feeling just like the Diet Coke of this. Here's a little haul of what we have to pack so far. We got some of these treats at Trader Joe's. We made homemade cookies to put in the freezer. We're bringing Go Macro Bars obviously because we love those. Jack has been loving these Bear Bells protein bars, so he's bringing a bunch of those. We're bringing protein, obviously, because I eat those shakes every day. And then I got some things from Free People that I'm obsessed with, like those shorts, this cover-up. I should have done like a proper haul, but it's like a cover-up that might go like a little past. And then look at these shorts. They're like jersey material shorts. Um, I got some other shirts from Free People as well. And then I got these swimsuits from Bondi Swim. I need to try them on because they might be just like not it. And then I got this from Bondi Swim as well. And then this tank from Free People. And then I got these swimsuits as well from Free People. Which I've never tried swimsuits from Free People. So we will see how they go. So those should be very cute. And then this is the bag I'm going to kind of carry around with me. With my vlog camera, some diapers, things like that. Oh, she's so sad. Oh, this is what we're bringing for Tommy. And then here's Velzy's pile. We need to add some more to hers, some different blankets for the babies. And then we'll go finish packing. Red and white. Hi. Just out. Uh, <laughs> 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 Alright, so that swimsuit I showed you from Free People, this one, um, I ordered bottoms that were way too big on me because in the comments they were like, or the reviews, they were like, size up a ton. So I sized up too big and I got the right size, so I'm going to try it on and see if I'm going to bring it to Pal. I hopefully, hopefully it fits. Okay, I think I love it, actually. It's like, Dang! <laughs> you like it? It's like high-waisted right here, but I like it. It feels like secure. It feels like a good swimsuit to like jump in the water in and everything and the back's really cute too. If you are gonna get the swimsuit, size up one size in the bottoms, not two. So normally I'm a medium and these are a large, but I also just kind of have bigger hips, so you decide. Anyway, so this is coming with me for sure. 
Now I'm gonna try the purple one on and the green one. I'm pretty sure the green one's gonna be a no for Lake Powell. It might be more of like a <laughs> anniversary trip swimsuit, but we'll just see. I'm gonna send it back, I think, because it was expensive. Like Bondi swimsuits say one size fits all, but like I'm covering my chest for a reason. One size does not fit all. Okay, I feel bad for ripping on Bondi swim so hard because I actually have a swimsuit from them. I think this is from them that I really like. It's really, really cute, and I actually love this one. So, give them a try. That's good. Okay, here's the bottoms. So, I'm going to bring the swimsuit. It's actually very cute on. So, I have the Free People swimsuit, this swimsuit. Then I'm going to bring swimsuit. It's just like a green strapless. I, like, actually love it. I might bring the straps just in case for, like, cliff jumping and whatever. I'm going to bring this green U-swim you swim one piece. Haven't worn that since I was pregnant. I'm gonna bring this swimsuit from TJ Swim. I'm in love with it. It's so, so. I'm gonna bring this black one piece as well because I like changing at the end of the day when we go out for a sunset surf with like a wet swimsuit. So I'm gonna bring probably more swimsuits than I need. This one piece from Hunza. Love this. And then the yellow. This yellow is fun, Jack, from You Swim. So instead of that green swimsuit, I'm going to bring the yellow, there's that. Let's bring this basic swimsuit. I love it because it's just like, has a little more coverage and this is from L Swims. I think my code Kenna15 still works for L Swims too, if you want. I love that I'm doing this right now and Velzy and Tommy are just like out right here. Love these shorts, but it's going to be hot. I'm probably just going to bring short shorts, to be honest. These have been my staple short forever. I think they're brandy. Love those. I'll bring them. My shorts are 100% coming with me. My mom's shorts from high school, for sure, coming with me. These are like, they have like holes in them and everything, but they're just like so freaking cool. I'm not gonna get rid of them ever. <laughs> but I think I got from Zara, so I'm just gonna bring that simple black skirt. Ooh, this is a jean skirt. Pack sun. I'm gonna bring that. Okay. That's good on shorts. Now I gotta pack my shirts. This dress is just like easy, like t-shirt dress to throw on. This is just a simple Brandy Melville top coming with me. Another simple Brandy top. I think this is it for tops because I actually have a bunch of other tops from Free People that I got that I already showed you. So this should be good. This is everything I'm packing. Is that too much? It kind of feels like too much. Let's see if you can fit it in this bag. I'll be very impressed. Faster, mm. faster, the camera's gonna die. So it is. Is it really gonna fit? Yeah, easy money. Okay, I'm impressed, but will it zip? <laughs> well, everything is packed and we finally loaded everything into the car, so I'm gonna go wake Belzy up and then we're gonna head I'm so excited. Thank you for watching this vlog. And then hopefully we will have the Lake Powell vlog in up on Sunday. So stay tuned for that and see you next week.